This is uh, Kajito, our male black rhino. Kajito is our rhino who paints, and uh, some people have referred to his style as kind of an impressionistic style. Uh, we actually just like to think of it as rhino painting. Um, at any rate, what we do is when we have him paint, we apply the paint to this part of his head, so right above this prehensile lip, and then his trained response is to push that in response to the cue paint against a piece of canvas, and then he will rub his head back and forth to give the painting some texture. Um, all accomplished in a fashion that's very similar to the way that we train elephants in protected contact. Obviously, we work from outside the enclosure. Uh, the behaviors are produced via positive reinforcement. He does what we ask him to do in response to a cue and gets a positive reinforcer such as an apple for that. What a good fella. It seems that the process of painting has built-in reinforcers. Um, rhinos have highly innervated skin. They're very sensitive to a soft touch like this. So touching Kajito like this or applying the paint here or when he applies the paint to the canvas, that is all reinforcing in and of itself. So in addition to the apples, there's a reinforcement built into the behavior. He enjoys it quite a bit. And we have found that since we started training him to paint, that there's been a positive impact on all his other trained behaviors and responses. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Kajito. What a good fella. Think that's enough? I think it is. You think? Yeah, or we can make it a two color. Uh, I, oh, no, I was going to add a third color. I was going to say, I, th I think that's enough orange. Oh, enough orange. Yeah. I agree. Okay. okay. Wait a second, we need a little. Yeah, no, I think we'll fill that space with this third color, right? Good boy. Good boy, Kajito. <laughs> Good boy. All right, Kajito. Kajito, paint. Good fella. Good fella. So we will, uh, again, people ask how much uh, impact the rhino has on the way the painting looks. Obviously, he is providing the texture. It's not anything conscious. conscious. This is a, uh, a trained behavior. Uh, he doesn't really have a sense of what he's doing. Um, we will turn the canvas to get the paint where we want it. So everything in terms of the image is serendipity. Um, but it's still fun to do, and it's fun to look at the, at the images that we have afterwards and speculate. Uh, a painting that we did yesterday, or rather that Kajito did yesterday, looked very much like a rhino. So did he paint a rhino? No, he didn't. But we're going to refer to it as a self-portrait nonetheless. So this is one of Kajito's paintings, one of the paintings that he did today. Again, the most important reason for going through this process is to provide enrichment for Kajito. He enjoys the process. Uh, it strengthens the relationship between the handlers and Kajito. It's just an all-around good thing for everybody that's involved. But at the same time, we take the paintings and we, we use them as fundraisers to support important activities like rhino conservation in the wild. Every year at Bowling for Rhinos here in Columbus, we'll have a few of these paintings available, either as door prizes or raffle prizes. And all the proceeds from Bowling for Rhinos goes to support rhino conservation in Asia and in Africa. You'll occasionally see these become available at other events like Go Wild for the Arts here at the Columbus Zoo. But again, we like the fact that we can give Kajito an opportunity while he is here in Ohio to support rhino conservation back in Africa and in Asia as well.